southwest of Sydney is the Blue Mountains National Park, which includes a big lake. West of that is Conangra Walls, and that is our destination. Oh, hello. <laughs> However, you simply can't go west. You need to approach it either from the north, as we did on our Rierandiri ghost town trip, or, as we did on this occasion, approach it from the south. With an aim to set up camp early, the four of us met at Castle Hill at sunrise and then headed south to Mittagong. Can't remember where my heated groups are. <laughs> Taking the freeway to cover the initial kilometres and then west along Wombian Caves Road, turning north onto Langs Road, uprange fire trail, cutting across to Banshee Hill Trail, which then sees us dropping down into Dingo Dell and connecting to Kaumung River Trail and eventually hooking around to Boyd River Campsite, where we'd set up for the night in a cosy four degrees. Nice little short overnighter aiming to be in the campsite around 2 p.m., which would give us a good two hours to set up camp and relax before sunset. Going anti-clockwise means we can do the sucky freeway bit nice and early, get it out of the way nice and easy. Did I say easy? Halfway down to Wollongong, I started to feel a bit of a wobble in the back and it wasn't long before I realized the tire was deflating. We pulled over, tried to pump it up by hand and managed to get a couple hundred meters down the road before it actually let go completely. Live action at 7-Eleven, wherever this place is called. <laughs> Kishula. Oh, take, take, Kishula, take we got the, uh, what you need? We, we got the beam. <laughs> Fun and games. With a 7-Eleven just around the corner, we opted to swap out the tube. Matt had a 21 inch ready to go. And we squeezed that into my 17 inch tire. Who's the coffee bitch? Oh, I'll get them. <laughs> 7-Eleven. Coffee. Two bucks. How do you wish you'd buy some um, spare tube tape? Yeah, I've been well, meaning to. I've been carrying this one every time. Yes, yeah. we should do all of this. It feels fine, but on the freeway it'll probably be noticeable, so... And g one super impressed with the pace we were making on the freeway. The theory here was that if we found a bike shop that they'd be able to swap it out much faster than we could. Yeah, it's in the middle there. Because what, yeah, what we could do, Matt, is skip, instead of going to Dingo Dell, when we get to the top of Kill and Stop Ground, go back out to the main road, up to Janola, and then down that way. And that would... Is that quicker? Essentially, just three and a half hours from here. Out that way? Yeah, so up you know, and then back. So an hour and a half later and we're still there, we were thinking it probably would have been faster just to buy the tube and fit it ourselves in the car park. But anyway, the Macca's breakfast had now become Macca's lunch. We topped up for fuel and we're finally ready to head towards the dirt. I was thinking today we should go riding. 
a good idea. Yeah. Good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I know. I reckon we should throw in a few challenges, like an obstacle course. Yeah. Like see if we can fix shit and um, change tyres and, and try and change tyres again. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Just around for most of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to sit on a bike. <laughs> Pretend like we're riding. Yeah, I've got thick ones, it's the thin ones. Have you got anything to cut it with? Uh, uh yeah, hang on, okay. I should have here, bro. Don't since fall off the got, cliff. Since huh? you've got your toolbox out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There's a couple of thin ones there too. This one is perfect. A little chain guard repair for G2. What one should be enough, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't even need to buy a new bulb. Cliffs of Doom are a little less doomy with the dry weather and quite a nice run up through here to Range Fire Trail. Battery change, glove change, undie change. Do you remember that real boggy bit we went through and yeah. we went up the side? The bog? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking this was it, but we're nowhere near it. Nah, it's a bit further on, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome, <laughs> Seem to have a problem with your finger there, Vern. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? My camera's not running. I think mine is. Yeah. I think mine is. This is actually one of my favorites. The track is friendly and straightforward, not too complex, and has that sort of stunning isolated bushland.
at this point, we're about two hours behind schedule, heading towards an ETA of sunset, which is not ideal. And the big question mark was around the drop into Dingo Dell, known for steep inclines. But this track for its clay surface is known to be pretty slippery when it's wet. Good. Worst comes to worst. Push it down. Woo! It's steep. I've got ABS going off everywhere. Yeah. I don't know how to turn it off either. Probably don't want to. For this stuff. Like you in yeah, clutch in. Yeah, this is um, working my skills. Gotta keep that momentum in check. Make sure it doesn't. <laughs> oh. All right. I think it's actually pretty close too. Um, 27 k's again. Right, the steep drop down into Dingo Dell was a bit of a new experience for me. However, the trick was really just keeping the momentum in check and making sure the bike didn't get away from me. way back on my luggage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In sync, <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Might just be a bit of a deep top spot on the other side, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's about that deep. <laughs> it's about a rock deep. Rock deep? Yeah, rock deep. I can see the bottom on that side. Yeah, I could maybe hug the right. Yeah, I can. Straight through there and up the other side. The middle to the right. I don't know about the last bit. It's a little bit of a there. 
mm. and then getting out the other side, bit of momentum and up the hill. Have we, have we, we haven't been through here before, have we? No. 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 So there's a steep incline on the other side of us. Hey, let's get going <coughs> before it gets too dark, eh? Well, the other option is just park up here. It's not much further to that, the other one. What yeah. have you got, about 20 k's to go or something? Yeah, it? 20. And from memory, there's a bit of a bumpy bit getting out, and then after that, it's back onto like the fire trails. And yeah, it's not going to be too deep that last little bit. It can't be too deep, <laughs> can it? <laughs> <laughs> Who's going first? You. <laughs> I got the heaviest bike to pick up, but. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, easy. Not that deep, is it? No. Oh, <laughs> it's real warm. Oh, yep.
It's also a pretty straightforward creek crossing down at Dingo Dell and back out the other side. And I remember thinking to myself that that wasn't so hard. I don't remember the steep bit that I saw in all these four wheel drive videos, etc. Uh, and then the second creek crossing revealed the next big climb out. Are they filming yet? That's the steep hill I remember. I actually sat down for this one and I don't know whether it was just not as steep a climb as the previous one or just felt better sit sitting down, but it certainly felt a lot easier. But first gear, plenty of momentum, the old Tenere just climbed the hill without a problem. Fun's that?
We're now on the Kaomung fire trail and this was a favorite bit. Nice hard surface with a soft sandy top made it a bit of fun to slide around but nice and firm. Okay. Final stretch. to camp bang on 4 p.m. giving us just under an hour to set up camp. So at this point the temperature had dropped to a low of four and a half degrees which is bearable with a little bit of red wine and whiskey. Morning beautiful. How'd you sleep? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing at your thing before. I could see it's all collapsed on you and it's like wriggling around. And yeah. I didn't want to go too far into what you were actually doing in there and why it was wriggling. <laughs> Just surviving. <laughs> <laughs> I could help you, but I won't. No, that wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> oh, man. Born like a caterpillar emerging from a chrysalis into a beautiful bogan moth. <laughs> Morning G2. <laughs> Good sleep? Are you warm enough? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
Got to find somewhere for bacon and eggs first. Yeah. The next morning we topped up with a little bit of fuel for the Garys and then headed towards Canangra Falls Lookout. How'd the bag go? Going up with the desert fox. Quite good for me. <laughs> Someone else carried it. Too, <laughs> Someone else hard. paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back to him empty. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Even you leave the tube there stiff for him. Yeah, mate, I'm done with it. You clean up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got to wait for you to plug in your GoPro, battery, change uh, gloves. I got that all sorted. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here first, I know that you were having trouble believing right. That everything is gonna be, it's gonna be alright. Yeah, this would have been awesome. Yeah. This would have been good. Next time, hey boys. At the bar? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. See the little rock slides down there. There's a big yeah. gash down the middle there. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, what a view. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Still a few, those potholes with the dappled light, I didn't see one, I, I hit a big one. I smacked one of them. Yeah, hard. same, like, oh, that hurt. Yeah. But lucky I was on Gary's bike. <laughs> yeah, Do you want to ride mine a bit further? Find out some Moto G Fendi rolls. Yeah. Are you just slow or what? I just had a bathroom break. <laughs> Fair enough. You're good? Yeah, all right. <laughs> back to Oberon for some delicious bacon and egg rolls, top us up and top up the bikes with fuel and then head down Bells on a road. We actually decided to skip all the dirt on the way home and exchange that for a little bit of a sleep.
always waiting to, to you know, carry this on. I'm blaming him. 